Hello all, Stuart from Stubo Gaming here, having a look at the PlayStation Hits range. I'm going to start with Killzone Shadowfall. It's one of the first games I actually had on PlayStation, so uh, I've played it quite considerably. I haven't, unfortunately, played it for a while, so the gameplay in the background is not as good as it could be. But uh, anyway, I'll get into the actual game itself. Now, PlayStation Classics are £14.99. That's retail on store shelves. Um, I believe they're the same on the actual PlayStation Store. There are a number of different games, and I will be covering a fair few of them. Um, this being the first, of course. Now, the gameplay in the background is the f uh, single player, so the the first part you actually um, get into. You can go straight into the multiplayer, but I wouldn't really advise it. The single player does act as a tutorial and is pretty good. So if you do skip it, you'll be missing quite a, quite a good game. Um, mechanics wise, extremely good shooter. I've always liked the Killzone games anyway, but the, uh, the mechanics are good. There's definitely a weight to the weapons and a weight to the character. Um, so, you know, if you're jumping or leaping over things, you can definitely feel that your character's got weight to him. Um, graphically, I think you can tell, even as a starting game, it's still pretty damn good. Online multiplayer, which um, is now on the screen, it's a mixed bag. It's extremely good, but it's also not populated. So this is, although it looks like a bot game, it's not. This is actually a full game of the um, online mode. Now, there's two different types. There's, well, there's actually three different types. There's um, Classic Warzone. There's 24 player, I think it's called Dominion. Um, and then there's Team Deathmatch. Now, everyone might be playing Team Deathmatch. I'm not really sure. Um, but Team Deathmatch is exactly that. You have teams and you just try and kill each other. This mode is basically a capture and hold. But it's um, dynamic. So it does change as you are playing. So you could, for instance, get told to capture these three points. Then halfway through the mission, it might turn around and say, right, you've now got a primary target you need to go and take out. And one of the opposition will be highlighted as a target. Um, you do unlock different abilities. So in this gameplay, I'm playing as a, uh, a support class. Now, you have something called an owl. I can't remember what it stands for, but it's basically a drone. Um, and that drone can perform various functions. You can have it do uh, revives, like you do in the single player. You can have it do healing. You can have it do um, just a, a natural turret. So it's like a, a floating turret. Um, now, as you can see, the I've, I've set the bots to medium. Um, my bots seem to be a hell of a lot worse than the opposition's bots, to be fair. But... Um, I, I, you know, I've, I've got a challenge, for instance, in the top right-hand corner that I didn't even see while I was playing, but it's to kill 1,500 enemy players. Now, I, I sat waiting to play this game for about three minutes, and no players actually joined, so I, I couldn't start a game with other players at all. You can play co-op, so you can play cooperative missions, which, um, to be honest, I would probably advise, because it, it's, it is very good fun. I haven't unfortunately captured any of the gameplay for this particular video, but again, it is very good fun. I w I don't know why the player count's so low. I mean, now it's at fourteen pound ninety nine. Yes, it's an old game, but there should really be quite an upsurge in players. But there we go. Would I recommend it? Yes, I definitely would recommend it for fourteen ninety nine. I wish the online servers were uh, more populated. That would make it a much better proposition. Anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, um, share it with your friends, and I'm going to be uploading more of these very soon, so I will uh, see you then. Bye for now.